So the word convulsion and the word seizure, they're really the same word. They both mean the same thing. Sometimes people think of the word convulsion as related to people whose sugar drops down too low when they have a jerking fit or when they get whacked in the head and they have a few jerks after getting whacked in the head. But to us, it really means the same. It does mean the same thing. What I think what people think about too is that a convulsion is a big generalized tonic-clonic seizure where the person's lying on the ground and shaking and jerking. And of course, there's many different kinds of seizures that don't go into that convulsive state where they're jerking and twitching. You know, I think the, the, the words and the nomenclature sometimes do get confusing, but they're really basically the same. They are not necessarily, when you say convulsion, have to do with epilepsy, and I think that's important to bring out, or even just a basic seizure, and that we have to look at all the other possibility things that can cause seizures, like hypoglycemia and diabetes, like head trauma, um, like someone who just faints, a syncopal episode, people who just faint can look like a convulsion, they can jerk and twitch once or twice. Um, any other things you could think There's of? There's also pseudo seizures, which are people that are, are very anxious and have an underlying psychiatric disorder that manifests itself by having something that looks like a seizure. So they can look like they're having real epileptic seizures, they're still seizures, but they may not be epilepsy, they may not arise from the brain, they can be a psychiatric manifestation of something going on. So convulsions and seizures are basically the symptom, whether it's zoning out, spacing out, jerking or twitching. They might or might not be epilepsy if they're not recurrent. Um, and you really need to look at what the underlying problem is that caused that seizure or convulsion from coming out. Mm -hmm.